I literally just got up like less than five minutes ago, running to take the kids to school. XO, thank you. Hey guys, welcome. Jeremy and Naomi here with Seeds of Action and a special guest. Uh, we are with the Bugs and Hunger campaign. This is week three of our AMA Q&A session. He has challenged his dad to a Chapalina eating contest. Mm. So, so we'll see who can do the most in 20 seconds. Go! All right, how's it going? <laughs> it's a little bit slow to chew. Mm. It's crunchy. Okay. I saw a few legs in there, but that's all right. Oh, I did 20 minutes. I'm going to have to. Okay, yes, you're good. I know, that's, I'll do it. I'll that's do 20 it. seconds. <laughs> that's 20 seconds. That's 20 seconds. That's a really fast 20 seconds. I got you, son. Good try. Nice try. Nice try. <laughs> he has had a lot of practice. <laughs> yes, I have. I've eaten a lot. Hey, I'm going to keep snacking. Mail time. Excited about what's in here. Oh, yes. Oh, Mercy Mercado sent me some more chapalinas. This one is the chipotle. This one is the adobo recipe. Pretty stoked about these. Thank you so much, Mercy Mercado. You guys can order these. Go to their link in the description. I'm salivating. I'm salivating. I, I'm telling you guys, like, these are the way to go. I'm gonna come check this out. The adobo. Oh. I mean, really, this is just a good snap. This one's not spicy. Mm -hmm. But it's nice. It's got a great flavor. It does. It's, it's, wow. Is there a little tang to it? Yeah. A little tang to it? It's really this is good. Adobo? That's the dough. Yeah. I mean, it's a good size mm. jar of them. It is spicy. That's good. So good. So it's really good. good. Thank you, Mercy Mercado. These are like easy to just sit and snack on. Mm-hmm. Yum. Is it weird? No. It's completely normal. If you think it's weird, you just need a new pathway. It's good. Oh man. I know. It's pretty tasty. It's gonna be dangerous. The sun coming in. See that? Just too... There we go. Much better. I have lithic bars. Do you want a lithic bar? Yes. Do you want to look at... Okay, you want a lithic bar? Chloe, do you want a lithic bar? Yes. Jesse, do you want a lithic bar? Y E S. <laughs> that hard? These are good. Here we are. Lithic bars are good. Is it like kind of like coffee? No. Okay. <laughs> Late lunch today. However, it's a good lunch. Look at that. Man, ramen noodles with a vegetable broth and chapalinas with peas. No, it's not the pack that comes with the ramen. That thing goes in the trash. Look at that. Oh, look at that goodness. <laughs> What's funny is I'm eating lunch and watching Casey Neistat's latest video. There's music going on in my headphones, and so I'm over here dancing. <laughs> and they join me. <laughs> my girls. <laughs> I love them so. <laughs> they don't need any music. They can just dance. We are about to, we had a couple, some of the crickets that we had not really covered real well. Got a little moldy. Dad or kids put their grimy hands in there. Kids put their, possibly. Within so the realm of possibility. It is within the realm of possibility. Here, people need to see, oh my oh, gosh, the sun, so, so bright. Hey, anyway, we're gonna feed these my to our chickens. chickens. are gonna be so excited They are excited. This. We're not farming just for human consumption. Farming for feed as well is a major component. So we're gonna go ahead and give our chickens these and we'll see what they think. All right, chickens, look. Oh, oh chickens. Oh boy. <laughs> yum yum. And also there's a little pecking order. That's but... true. Let's see if I get my hand pecked. Oi. Here. <laughs> ah! 
<laughs> so we're not just feeding these chick to the chickens just because they produce our eggs that we eat. So pretty stoked about proper aid, egg, proper egg production. Is that what we're talking about here? <laughs> Healthy egg production. That's how you make pizza insect friendly. Stop making out with the pizza. <laughs> Are you sure pizza's not from Asia? Nope. It just smells so good. Unfortunately, that's not for me. No pizza for you. What? No pizza for you, soup for you. Soup, I don't want soup. I want pee. <sighs> Cravings are real, people. A few short days, you can have some Chapolina pizza. But I, I added something For special. me. Thank you. For, for her. I added something special. That's like the biggest piece, too. What are you doing? <laughs> what? What? Dang. <laughs> You're wheezing. Dang it. I'm the one who's wheezing right now. It's hungry. I'm hungry. It's hungry. I'm hungry. It's hungry. <laughs> <laughs> Smells like cricket powder. Into Mo Farms. Yes. What, are we, what, is, what, what is this again? Chapati. It's a chapati up in here. Chapati up in here. <laughs> where, where, okay. where are you at? We're having a chapati up in here. It's Since I can't eat pizza. Naomi's hooking me up with something that's close enough. <laughs> I've got tomatoes. We could make like <laughs> black olives. You need to see if black Chipotle olives are in up Asia. In here. Chipotle up in here. <laughs> this is my warm up dinner here. Starting off with this black eyed peas, some rice, and chapolinas. Then I'm going to have some of that chapati. Maybe with some tomato sauce on it and some of the chapalinas that are spicy. I understand that this concoction, this recipe that I'm trying to, I, I get it. It's not necessarily a culturally uh, native recipe. However, if I'm just um, expounding on the possibilities of the local fruits and vegetables and grains, then I should be okay, right? Right? <laughs> anyway, let me read you this. The olive was native to Asia Minor and spread from Iran, Syria, and Palestine to the rest of the Mediterranean basin. It's among the oldest known cultivated trees in the world, being grown before the written language was invented. I'm gonna have another treat. A mini, well, just wait. The chapata has insect flour in it. Ooh, what are we gonna call it, Naomi? Chapata pizza? I think so. Chapata pizza, that's what we're gonna call it. We got ourselves some chapata pizza. That will work. Mm. You can see, I love black olives. Always have. I put this in the oven too to kind of give that baked flavor, a little bit of sauce going on, you know. And then these, mm, they're like that crushed red pepper flavoring and oh, so good. Mm, don't hate, appreciate. You can make this. You know what, Naomi? I think we need to create a recipe for this, you know? The chapata pizza? That's what we need to do. We're gonna put out a recipe, guys. The first recipe from the campaign that we're going to design and put out, it will be called Chapata Pizza. And other people could add cheese, right? Well, yeah, but I'm thinking maybe we talk about mozzarella cheese. You better watch. It's going to come to you. So the girls are spending the night with Nama and Grandpa, and you guys are having a boy.
boys night. What are you What's watching? That? Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Oh, and what are you eating? You see a shirt on? Pizza. pizza. Oh, Jess, what shirt are you wearing? The turtles, huh? And what are you guys eating pizza? Because the turtles do. Because the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles eat pizza, oh. baby. Do you think they eat grasshoppers and crickets too? They should, <laughs> and I'm sure they do. They're turtles. I mean, honestly. Chapata pizza, baby. <laughs> well, you guys enjoy your turtle watching show. Oh, we will. And your boys night. Yes. She's vacuuming up spiders because I won't eat them. <laughs> Finished up that show, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 2. I actually hadn't seen it yet, so that was awesome. However, it is now like 11 something o'clock and I need to edit. So we'll see you tomorrow.